I direct your attention to the lower field in which we have perfectly normal skin. You can see the papillary dermis. You can see the reticular dermis. You can see the reti pegs of the epidermis. You can see the maturation from the basal layer to the stratum corneum. Notice specifically that in normal skin, the epidermis is supposed to be connected to the dermis. What do we have here? On the top, we have an epidermis, which offhand doesn't look terribly bad, but we notice it's not connected to the dermis. It seems to be uh, filled with fluid and inflammatory cells in which uh, it is showing a vesicle kind of appearance in which the uh, epidermis is a vesicle and separated from the dermis chiefly by this watery material in which we also have some inflammatory cells as well. This is herpes simplex. Herpes simplex is the single most common vesicular type of skin disease. And this is precisely what this vesicle looks like microscopically. Notice there's a lot of secondary inflammation. And also, uh, I would think that if you looked more, you might find some cells in which the nuclei look like they might have some intranuclear red inclusions in the epidermal cells, which are so classical for uh, herpes infection of skin. And these are the same cells that give the classical appearance on the so-called zinc, T-Z-A-N-K or T-Z-A-N-C-K uh, preps. Let's see if we could find some uh, red intranuclear epidermal cell inclusions, which are fairly diagnostic for um, uh, herpes, besides the fact that they have these nice uh, thick vesicles separating the uh, base of the dermis, base of the epidermis from the upper lying dermis. I don't see too many zinc cells here. Uh, maybe there aren't any. Maybe I'm just impatient. Maybe I should take another quick look somewhere else, like maybe here. And if we don't find any, we'll call it a day. But I don't want to uh, take your time up too much because I know how busy you are. So let's see if we could find some intranuclear reddish inclusions other than the normal nucleolide that you see inside of cells. Here's an area where there's a little secondary abscess within the epidermis. Uh, perhaps here, can I convince you that this little red area here is more than just a nu big nucleolus, or perhaps this one? These are probably the uh, characteristic uh, intranuclear inclusions that you see with herpes. Thank you very much.